You want a haircut? Would you would you like a trim? What? I don't know, just another day on the streets yeah, of Toronto. Like just make this a little Our topic a right nicer. now, yeah, Canada's okay, largest see. film festival in its third oh, no, year no, no, I'm I have a hair is dedicated to showcasing deaf part. and disability Ready? cultures. The Real Abilities Film Festival, R-E-E-L Abilities Film Festival, and one of the subjects of the film joins me now, as well as the artistic director of the, uh, the festival. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's start. It, it, I've got Matthew uh, Genzer and Livia Mendelssohn. Let's start. I'm, I'm going to start with, uh, although the obvious place to start would be with you, but I want to find a little bit more about the film festival. Tell me about the, the film festival, Liv. So we're in our third year. Um, we showcase the work of filmmakers who have disabilities and deaf filmmakers. And um, we have 25 uh, film screenings over the next week. We have a comedy night, dance performances, and it's all focused around the experiences of people with disabilities. So so one such film uh, maker did a film on Matthew. Who's that? Yes, Michelle Hosier uh, is an amazing local filmmaker, and she connected with Matt uh, to tell your story, Matt, your recovery <laughs> journey, your which, your whole story. Which leads us to talking to Matthew and uh, the superhero costume. The film is about you on the street corners giving people free haircuts here in Toronto. Let's start with what you're recovering from. <laughs> what I'm recovering from. Craziness. Um, well, I've been a drug addict and an alcoholic, and um, it's it's been hard to change, but mo more than that, it, it's not really about substance abuse. It's more about um, mental illness, and um, lots of the time we see people, and they have physical problems. You see someone wearing a crutch, you know that there's something wrong with their leg. But when they have something like bipolar or depression or like any mental illness, if it's not debilitating, if it's not that serious from the outside, I look like a normal person, maybe not right now, but, <laughs> but on the inside I've had to struggle with those with really bad ADD, borderline personality disorder, and it, it's a huge struggle. And bringing more awareness to stuff like that when you see a child that's having a really hard time concentrating, and sometimes all they need is a little bit of extra attention. So n not everyone's like stubborn enough to keep going. Lots of them want to quit. So you're staring mental illness straight in the face right now and thumbing your nose at it. Tell me about the outfit. You're a hairdresser, and tell me a little bit about, about the subject of the film. Well, um, I started going out on the streets and cutting hair about five, six years ago. And then one day Would you like a trim? I told one of my friends that I wanted her to make me a superhero costume. So she made me this superhero costume, and I started blasting music and going to the corners of the streets, offering everyone, str everyone strangers, everyone haircuts, <laughs> strangers. And then when I'd see the homeless kids, especially, like, I love the squeegee kids, like, the, the younger ones that are, like, they, they've been on the street for maybe not as long, but just giving them that attention, getting them in the chair, cutting giving them a haircut, making them feel good about themselves for once. So that, that's really what I enjoy about it. And Liv, I, I think this is, you know, what a perfect subject for this particular film festival, because as Matthew has been saying, unless you have something outwardly showing, mm -hmm. people don't know that, that, that you are battling anything. So now we're looking at films you can't tell someone has a, a, a disability of any way, I, really, I, when I, you watch these films. Absolutely. I'm, well, I'm sitting right here as a person with an invisible disability. You wouldn't know. Um, I think the whole idea behind the film festival is to tell stories that we haven't seen, we haven't heard, and to get uh, some conversations going, to build empathy so that people understand everybody's got their own story and their own experience, and people with a disability have a lot to contribute to society, to arts and culture. Um, so yeah, and, and it's really fun. And, and I'm not gonna ask you what your disability is because it doesn't define you, and, and nor should it. Uh, so, so this is wonderful. You're, you're, you're both doing such an incredible job at bringing to the forefront topics that we need to discuss more in, in society and, and openly. So are you, do you find people open up to you too? Especially, they always open up to their hairdresser, right? But on the street, are they opening up to you? Um, not, 
like this, it's, it is a little harder to get people <laughs> to open up to me. They look at me and they think I'm crazy, but that's, that's part of what I enjoy at it. You have to be able to laugh at yourself, but getting people to open up in the salon, I tell them my stories and then usually that is what gets them to open up. If you're honest, then they become honest. Mm -hmm. Tickets $12 per screening on sale right now. Uh, go to realabilities.org. That's R-E-E-L. realabilities.org slash Toronto. Thank you both.